Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing not a small independent business like I usually do. So today I'm going to be doing a familiar one that I've done on my channel for maybe over a year now and you know some people love it some people hate it I can sometimes have that love-hate relationship with this company as well it is a uh, higher up higher up shop yeah I know I try and keep it small independent businesses but there was a deal on and I, I couldn't help it now these are actually for Christmas guys but but I didn't realize they were for Christmas. So what had happened was um, I asked I asked my lovely husband if I could borrow some pennies to grab this offer because by the time I would have got my money, this offer would have gone. Um, and it was like, well, you've got so much left in your kitty for your Christmas present. It says, so if you want, you can have them for Christmas. Mm, so I said, okay then, all right, okay. So when these arrived, he was like, these are gonna go and put away for Christmas and I was like yeah but when I do what I got for Christmas if there's too much I just it's too much I don't want to keep people for, for a long time telling them what I got for Christmas it's just I just, just don't and I, I do have a lot of family members in my circle that do buy for me for Christmas so yeah so he said well if you want to show them now you can do cut a long story short so here we are so this was a deal that Killstar had on and it was buy one get one free on the accessory line and I thought well I do like a good accessory from Killstar may that be a belt or a bag or I'm not I've not really grabbed jewellery from Killstar I didn't have much luck when I did try to grab jewellery which was the the pin on the skull so I kind of like mm, there is a lots of jewelry but I don't need any more jewelry I like, I have really like overwhelmed myself with jewelry so I thought um I don't have a huge bag collection or I, I didn't have a big big bag collection I may I may have that changed after Christmas because my sisters give me a load of bags so chances are my bag collection's probably grown overnight when I eventually get my hands on them but I don't personally have a big bag collection. It's not something I've ever done, guys. Don't get me wrong. I have gone through a phase of collecting bags at one stage. And then I was like, I don't go anywhere. I only need one bag, really. So I kind of got rid of them all. And now here I am again, building up my collection again. I'm a bit of a creature of habit. Um, yeah. Anyway, so it was buy one, get one free, guys. So bear that in mind. I didn't buy two bags and pay the price that they were because the one bag that I wanted and I wanted it the minute it dropped it wasn't one of the cheapest bags I could have gone cheaper but I don't find Killstar's bags very cheap to be honest with you guys um, I've not had any problems once once guys I tell a lie I've had one problem with a bag and it was the straw came out of the milkshake bag and they did send me a, a new replacement egg so i will go and grab the first bag which is the one that i actually wanted i'm just going to refer to the price because i can't quite remember how much they were i didn't get a card with this but i usually get a card i didn't with this one i just got a little receipt which tells me how much they were right i can see that okay so anything over 50 pound on killstar you get free delivery anything under i think the delivery is um let me just put my glasses on a minute all right yeah yeah the delivery i think is 2.99 or 3.99 something like that so when this bag first drops they had it in two colors this color and black and i have had a shaped bag like this in the past before and i got it from Athlex palace and i absolutely loved it and for some reason i went through that stupid phase that i go through of selling all my hell bunny dresses and all my gothic bags at the same time guys if i would have kept everything that i collected over the time it, i would have been too overwhelmed with stuff and i probably would have had a lot full of bags and dresses so sometimes you do have to declutter to bring new ones in so this is the bag guys i have opened it it comes in a dust bag like so it was well wrapped up guys i will admit and this is the bag that i grabbed 
anybody who knows me will know that purple is my favorite color so it was a kind of obvious that i'd probably go for this bag so this is the vampire's kiss coffin bag in plum guys it was 39.99 now the bag that i used to own was a coffin bag like this but it wasn't like velvet or suede or anything here and i think i paid 58 pound for that in aflex palace at the time and it did have lots of embellishments on here um i absolutely loved that bag but i did sell it i don't think i'll ever do that again i regretted selling it so here is the new label it says Ac abracadabra kill star vampire's kiss handbag on there i keep all my labels on my items guys just in case <laughs> just in case i do fall out of love with it and i think do you know what i don't need it anymore and i'd like to grab something else sell it and then grab something else but the only problem when you do things like that guys you never get what it's worth if that makes sense like like the diablo foot thing that i got i mean i bought i paid 9.99 for that and i'm having to sell it for five pound i'm losing five pound on my money and i've never even worn it it's still new in the packaging so let's take off this even though these are going to get took off me guys for christmas but i might as well just have a look and see what details are on here ah i need scissors guys to cut this they've sellotaped it why 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 do you have to sellotape it let's see if i can get it off with my tweezers guys or at least snap it off there we go right so all the embellishments have got tape on like so i will leave that on for now guys but it just keeps the um the stainless steel part fresh and then the zip has a cross on it a really nice crucifix which is lovely it's a good heavy sturdy one and then obviously inside there will be a long strap oh it's a chain strap guys so as you can see there's a chain on there and then it'll attach to your D-rings here at the side, which are quite bulky D-rings. Then you've got the handle. So if you don't want to put it around your shoulders, you can just hold it as a hand luggage bag. Um, it looks quite roomy, guys, to be honest with you. Let me just have a look. Yeah, it's quite a fair size, guys. So say I've got... Let's take that out. One of them bag fresheners are in there. If you've got children, guys, I always say make sure you put them in your bin outside um to be safe because you know yeah i don't really need to explain that but it's the first size there's a zip on the inside here guys so it's a little pocket and it says killstar on the inside the pocket's just a zip pocket probably wouldn't fit a lot in there guys to be honest but if you've got any loose change you could put it in there i suppose or a bus pass or whatever if you don't want to mess about with your purse then it has a kill stars little tag inside and it's all lined inside with a kill star logo and it's like a really nice i'm gonna put them back in guys because obviously it's, it's gonna be put away so it is a first size guys definitely a first size it'd be big enough for me to put my purse in there um because i have a kill star purse which is quite a big purse i would like a new purse i am um, i'm gonna wait to see if there is another offer on maybe if there is another buy one get one free offer i would like to get the purse matching this and the purse matching that bag so i am gonna keep on a lookout i am like subscribed to the you know notification so they always tell you that was 39.99 and um, i do like it I would like the black one in that as well guys to be honest with you in case i had nothing purple when i wanted to bring that back i wouldn't mind getting a black one but when they drop down in price it depends if they decide to make any more of them so that was that guys so i got this one absolutely free so although i paid 39.99 plus delivery for that one it should have come to a lot more guys so it should have come to 79.99 because obviously i would have got free delivery but it came to 43.98 i think in total guys yep 43.98 so 398 or 394 for delivery so obviously i've had to pay for delivery because this buy one get one free but i was torn between two bags and 
Ben doesn't particularly like me having backpacks. One, because of my back. Two, because he thinks that somebody can just open it and take my purse out of there. He prefers me to have a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag, um, which I completely understand why he'd want me to have that because I don't really, I wouldn't be able to tell if somebody was going in my bag because of the, the amount of pain that I get. I probably just wouldn't know. But I thought I had to have this bag because I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. So this one, guys, is called the Star Map That Pack. This would have been the same price, which is $39.99. It came in the dust bag. And this is what this one looks like, guys. So quite a square bag. But I absolutely love this bag. I do like all things like this. I always get it wrong. It's astrology or astronomy. I mean, Ben always goes, it's astronomy. Was it astrology? I don't know. But as you can see, I've got a Moon and Stars top on from Boohoo, which I absolutely love. It's like a sheer top. And I just thought I've got a lot of reference tops like this that I could wear and have my little backpack on top as well. With a plain black coat, this would look really, really nice. And it looks very, very sturdy. It's quite a heavy bag, guys. I won't say that much. It's heavy bag. So again, it's the new label and it says Star Map Backpack. Now, as you can see, it's got extendable straps so you can extend it to make it a bit bigger if you wanted to. Same with this side. And they've got a handle here so you can hold it. They've got a really nice star charm that's on the side. I will probably stick some more charms on here. Maybe um, some star charms. I have got quite a few little clippy things I could hook onto there, which would look really cute. And then you've got the star embellishment on the front, which is covered up at the minute. And the kill star. Is that covered up? I don't think that one's covered up. I don't think that one's covered up, guys, to be honest with you, but this one is. And then you've got all this on the front and then it opens up like this and you've got a front part here which maybe if you stuck maybe like your phone in there you could stick your phone in and push it down to the bottom or um, if you was going away for the weekend and you did want to take this bag possibly no or would I let me just check no I can try I thought maybe my pad would fit in there. But your pad would fit in the middle part, guys. That's for sure, if you were to take it. Now, it just zips open and it's quite roomy inside. Let me just take all the packaging out so we can get to see. Jesus. They are all packaged, these bags. And then you've got your two fresheners inside. So you've got a zip part here on one side and it's quite a large zip pocket, guys. So larger than the coffin bag. And then <coughs> you've actually got a section for your phone. So let me just see if I can get it in there. Yeah, perfect. And then you've got another side maybe for your purse to go in, like so, can you see? So your phone goes on here, or you've got two phones, you can put one there as well. And then your zip pocket is on this side here with the logo on, and it's lined just the same <coughs> has the coffin bag with the kill style logo inside there and you got your little freshness in there i think that's a really good size bag like i said i'd fit my phone and my purse in there i could possibly fit an umbrella in there as well um anything else is a bonus i do carry like a little pad with me like shopping pad and stuff i do sometimes carry like obviously at the minute hand sanitizer face mask in there um lipstick lip gloss things like that maybe a little perfume in there i do carry quite a bit in my bag which i shouldn't really because i shouldn't have too much weight but i've actually got the um spooky conflict bag at the minute which is the backpack i absolutely love that bag but i do struggle sometimes getting it off my back to get my purse out and stuff so backpacks are a bit of a struggle for me because of my condition and stuff but i just couldn't pass on this i just thought it was just so pretty i like it I think my girls would love bags like this. I'm hoping if they do like things like this, they will say something to me and say, Mum, yeah, I like things like that. And maybe I could pick something like this up for their birthdays or for Christmas. It won't be this year because of situations. But there you go, guys. Buy one, get one free. I'm sorry it's not on now. It was literally... It, it, I think it was a whole day worth, guys. And I had an email possibly in the day that told me it was on but I didn't log on to my emails until really late at night I think it was about maybe about half 11 at night I checked my emails and it said Killstar 
buy one get one free on accessories and I was like oh, I have to have a look so I went on and had a look but it was like I didn't have any money and I was like oh that purple bag I was like I need it I have to have it you know we're all like that I need to have it have it not got no money da 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 so luckily for me, it, it, it turned out all right that I got it for Christmas off my husband. So thank you, Benjamin. But you know, the thing is, it will still cost me because I've got to buy him now for Christmas. So it still costs you in the end. <laughs> all right, guys, take care. Tell me which bag you prefer. All right, guys, take care. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.